Don't cry. Receive. They recognize that they have made a mistake by killing that character. It's the thing about shooting scenes in disorder that you don't care about killing a character who you later discover could have given much more of himself. In Stranger Things, there are characters condemned from the moment they first appear in the series. And season 4, at least part 1, has followed the same mantra. And no, we're not talking about mustachioed Agent Harmon, why didn't you account for his death by not dying at the hands of Vecna? And, by the way, did you count the kids in the lab as a pre-Vecna victim? In season 1 it was clear that Barb, Shannon Purser, was going to disappear, didn't expect the cameo in season 4, huh? In season 2, Bob, Sean Austin, had his hours numbered. In season 3, Billy, Dasser Montgomery, another cameo you didn't count on, our beloved Billy, was on his way to the upside down world at breakneck speed, although he lasted the entire season. And in season 4, we have not one, but three deaths, not counting past deaths, which for that matter do not count, and mustachioed deaths. The writers of season 4 of Stranger Things, during the promotion of part 2 of the series, have recognized that they regret having killed a specific character. And notice that in his day they did not regret killing Bob. Because Bob, in fact, had to have died earlier in the season, but they were extending the lifespan of his character. In season 4, the writers regret killing Chrissy, Grace Van Yen. The problem is that by the time they realized it, it was difficult to change the script because Chrissy's story was part of the central skeleton of the plot. The rest of the deaths in part 1 of season 4 could have been reversed, but the death of the cheerleader, no. That she is the one who dies in Eddie's trailer, Joseph Quinn, unleashes the persecution of the new member of the Hawkins team. And that they realized that killing her was a mistake when they were still shooting episode 1. As much as it is an unwritten rule of horror that cheerleaders, or animators, are always the first to die, Chrissy might have had a chance. The writer's doubts about her death have to do with the scene from the first episode and with the way of shooting the series, which is not always in chronological order. With Chrissy, it hasn't happened like with Sean Austin's character, Bob, who when they realized he had a way, they decided to play more with him. If he died in episode 4, he lasted until episode 8. Although, if he did you think, Bob never had a chance to save himself either, since without his death Joyce, Winona Ryder, and Hopper, David Harbour, would never have gotten together. Deaths in Stranger Things always have a plot advancing motive, well, Fred and Patrick's deaths are there to instill fear and keep the flame of the lurking villain alive. Yeah. Bob always intended to die, but we fell in love with Sean and what he was doing with this character, said Ross Duffer after the end of season 2 of Stranger Things. He was supposed to die in episode 4 and we kept keeping him alive because he was so cool and what he added to the show. Once we got to 8, we were like, either we had to do this or we didn't. But I think it was important in terms of the stakes on the show. This is not a children's show and there are consequences and people die. But we're sad to lose it because it really blew our minds. Chrissy is brutally murdered by Vecna at the end of chapter 1, The Hellfire Club, but she couldn't have been any other way. The writer's doubts have to do with the scene where we learn more about the characters of Eddie and Chrissy in the woods. We always have those what have we done moments, Matt Duffer has now told Pline. We shot the dope date scene in the woods pretty late, actually. In fact, we had already killed Chrissy by the time we shot that. The scene came to life in such a beautiful way. It was one of those lucky scenes where we were able to have two cameras rolling capturing them simultaneously. Joe was doing a lot of things spontaneously and we were getting these amazing reactions from Grace. We were so thrilled with their interaction, he argued. But, of course, this scene played in her favor. Basically, because it humanized Chrissy and made her death matter to us, because the truth is that those of Fred and Patrick, in addition to being sung, we don't care enough. I'm sorry. Middle school, talent show.